All right, hello everybody. We are going to set up for hole number nine here. I do believe I'm going to put on a Titan ball for this hole. Make sure that you have a long iron that has good backspin, short iron with good backspin, just in case. Those are the two important ones. Of course, I don't think I'm gonna get a pitch out of this. So I don't think that matters. Make sure that you have a long rough iron, long sand wedge, because the odds of you being there on this hole are definitely greater, especially if you're going to use my method here. I pretty much set up to shoot it intentionally in the rough more than, more than anything. So that's what you're going to see from my drive. Um, there is going to be guys that will do this with berserker balls or globes as well but I'm not going to focus on that approach I am going to just kind of get aggressive here uh, a different way so here you're gonna see me use about five top spin five side spin just kind of aim for this open area right here um, now if you want to see landing zone wise I'm trying to land it right in there somewhere and that's why I'm kind of doing this with a Titan, because I can see that I can do it with a Titan. So since I don't need Berserker Balls, that's why I'm doing it this way. And this is more of a layup approach. It's going to, uh, you know, there you see it just caught the fairway. And I am in the fairway. You can see that you have to be quite aggressive to get enough curl on it. Other than that, you're gonna to have to do a hook, but what I don't like about doing the hook is it's gonna kind of get you out of control a little bit more, and you might go into the water. The way that I'm doing it, the water's not in play. So that's one of the advantages to what I'm doing. Plus, let's say I was to accidentally land it just on that speck of rough there on the first hop, um, it should forward spin into the fairway, which means if I set up a wood, I will still be okay. So, um, you know, you have nothing to lose to get kind of aggressive there. Um, now, you do have to avoid being too aggressive to where you might hit the water, but if you can use my line, you can see it's a little bit more safer than it appears. So I do want you to just keep that in mind. And here you can kind of see what I'm looking at. I am going to do this with, uh, you know, a backspin iron here. So right around here is probably what I want. Right around three backspin. You can see what I'm doing with my landing zone. Now I am probably going to play this about seven rings or so seven and change I'm, i also felt like i was probably bringing it in a little bit right of where it needs to be so there you see me adding just a little bit of extra curl just to kind of get it on the hole and it looks like i added just too much but i did give it a chance to go in there now i do feel comfortable with birdie here but i don't really feel comfortable with eagle So, judging on how well this guy does, this guy gets it up here on the green or close to the green, I'll probably just forfeit, give him the eagle. Well, that is a pretty big pull. A little unlucky there. That is a very tough shot to make from there. Like I said, I'm kind of comfortable with the eagle here, or the birdie, but not the eagle. So there you're gonna just see me put it up here. I do believe, you know, five under will not get in.
And if you are going to, um, that's a good approach to this shot is increasing the backspin. Uh, one of the things that you just want to do is kind of, which this guy isn't doing, is when you apply that backspin, what I tr try to do is put that third hop on the hole, and then I'll play the wind. And that gives yourself a, a really nice chance to, uh, you know, play it a little bit tighter, take out some of the break, give yourself a better chance to make it. So that's what you'll see me do. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, I don't need this hole. So I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, slam it home that I'm not getting in. So three under should secure that. Um, but there you have it. There's my uh, expert guide. And that uh, culminates all my uh, strategy guides for you guys. I have uh, all four tours done now. So good luck with your tournaments. Uh, let me know how it goes. And uh, if you guys haven't subscribed and want to, feel free to subscribe to my videos. And uh, aside from that, I'll uh, see you guys on the, on the next ones. So good luck out there.